What have you guys been up to this weekend? Yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, you guys. And this weekend, I went water skiing. Oh, yeah. It was really amazing. This is a staff meeting, right? You know, like staff members. What? I'm staff? You know, like, I help with the kids and... And, and the youth, and, and even the college kid! Yeah, he's, he's, he's staff, he's, he's one of us. Whatever. Anyway, um, I'm gonna be having a birthday party coming up really soon! Oh, wow. 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 I can't do it, I've got a gig that day. And what? He hadn't even told us what the date is yet. Everybody's gonna be invited! The whole staff and the whole church! Wow. Wow. And it's going to be on June 7th! Like I said, I have a gig that day. Hey, Rick, you're so amazing and, and talented. And I just wanted to let you know that, that I would love it if you would play the piano at my birthday party on June 7th. No, uh, I can't do it. Sorry, Bert. Well, maybe this will help change your mind. In that case, I guess I could be there. Thank you very much for the warm welcome. It's nice. Thanks. All right. Oh, hey, Pastor Mark. Well, y'all, um, I got to give you some news here. The, the reality of the situation is this. The uh, DS called me this week, and uh, as it turns out, I'm going to be moving to a, a different church. Oh, oh, man. Mark, we're really going to miss you. Oh. We, should plan, we should plan a reception for the last Sunday that you're going to be here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. a great idea. We could, we could have like a, like a going away party for you, Mark. Yeah. We all love you so much. We couldn't stand you leaving without a big party. Yeah. Uh, what, what, what day are you going to be leaving? Uh, uh, I was thinking maybe we uh, June have 7th, like, Bert. That's my We last can have like a cake. Uh, what day did you say? June 7th. And maybe like last... you can play the organ. Uh, Bert. I, I June 7th is my last Sunday. June 7th? June 7th? You've got to be kidding me, Mark. I made birthday party invitations. I have so many things ready, and, and you go and have your party on the same day? Wait a minute. No, wait a minute. I don't have to stop having my birthday party. I just have to convince the staff to still come to my birthday party instead of going to Mark's reception. <laughs> and this will be easy. Hello, ladies. Hi. Oh, you both look so nice today. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. <laughs> You're so welcome. Um, so I, I was wondering if on June 7th, uh, you might want to come to my birthday party. Oh, no, can't. Gotta go to Mark's reception. Okay, hold on now. Don't, don't talk so soon. Uh, Joyce? Yes? You like exercising, right? I do. I love to exercise. And, and, and Drew, uh, you have exercise pants on right now, right? <laughs> I do. Yeah, okay. Thanks for pointing that out. Well, you guys are in luck because I'm going to hire uh, an aerobics instructor to come and, and, and have a little dance party. Well, that's really tempting, but we really owe this to Mark. Do you guys think that Mark is going to have any dancing at his party? Mark's been my boss for almost two years now, and I really need to go to this thing. This is a little bit more important. Oh, now you just hurt my feelings. How about I pretend to be your boss and then I make you go to my birthday party? No. All right, listen, Kim. Listen, I'm your boss and you need to come to my birthday party on June 7th. Hey, John. You got a quick second? Oh, hi, Bert. Yeah, sure. Come on in. All right. June 7th. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else going on that day. It's pretty I, much I, just I, no, I, my party. I think there is. Let me check my calendar. No, you don't need to check that. I have down that there's a reception for Pastor Mark and Kathy. Well, that, that's still to be determined. Um, I think I've put that in the bulletin already. What is your favorite kind of music? Mm, I really like all kinds of music. Oh, well, you're in love because we're going to have 
all kinds of music at my birthday party. At your party. Yeah. But your party is the same day. Well, and I bet Mark isn't is going to have all kinds of music at, at his party. Probably not. Probably not is right. I heard about that. Man. Yeah, that's pretty exciting. I know, man. Thanks for coming. It's going to be uh, so fun. You know, I wish I could come, Bert, but you know, that's the same time as Mark's reception. And we, I, I can't do that, man. But Bert, why don't, why don't you just, like, change the time of your party or the I day? I can't do that, Chris. I already put down a whole bunch of deposits. I got a sword swallower. And do you know how expensive it is to put down a deposit on a sword swallower? You and I uh, go way back and... And, and you like coming to my birthday parties. Well, I'd love to. I, I was thinking maybe you could play the keyboard or the guitar and maybe sing some songs at my birthday party. But buddy. You know I, I always love it when you sing your songs. That would be really cool. I know, but I have to go to Mark's reception. You know that. I talked to you about that already. I can't. Well, I, but, I, but I, I, I've decided to make some different dietary needs for, for our cakes. We, I have a gluten-free yeah, birthday gluten -free. cake. Oh. Just for you, Carolyn. Do you think he's going to have a gluten-free cake at his party? I I know he would not do that for me. No, but, he wouldn't, but, but I would do it for you, Carolyn. No. Yes. I mean, Mark's been here for 10 years. Well, I've been here longer, actually. When I was a little hatchling, I, I used to live in the basement. You lived in the basement. Yeah, I'm, all I'm saying is if we're going based on seniority, you should definitely come to my birthday party. Can't you see I'm practicing? I got an important piece to play Sunday. Yeah, I was really feeling that. That was cool. <laughs> I love that song. What's the name of that one? It's the Bach Prelude and Fugue in C minor. Oh, it was right wow. on the tip of your beak, wasn't it? It's Mark's last Sunday, and I'm playing this piece, this great, tremendous organ piece, just for him. Yeah, it kind of sounded like we were in Castlevania or something. Oh, great, thanks. He wanted something nice and bright and cheery, but I guess that won't work. Sounds sort of like a vampire dirge thing. You still coming to my birthday party on June 7th? Well, I know I said I would, but... You know, that's Mark's reception. That's his last day, and I've, I, I really need to go to that. Rick, like, how much money are we talking here look, look, to get you to go? Look, it's not the money. Plus, I've already got what you gave me before. I'm gonna have t special talent agents at my party. Maybe you could be discovered, because you're so amazing. Well, yeah. And, and I'm that. sure that those o organ, you know, agents yeah. They really, you know, they're, they're specialized ones. Well, if I don't get enough practice in, I'm not going to pass their audition. Plus, what are they going to do? Get me a job here at the church? Look. Well, look, I'm just saying, I bet at Pastor Mark's reception, he, he's not going to have any special talent agents at his party. Yeah, you're probably right about that. You know, it's Mark. I'll come to your party next year. Yeah, that's what you said last year. Well, that was different. I didn't know you so well. Now I know you better. I know you pay to go to your party, so... That makes a difference. We really can't do that. <sighs> can't do it. <sighs> I've got to go to his reception. <sighs> One time reception for Mark. <sighs> not going to happen. No, Bert. They're not going to go to your birthday party if it's at the same time. <sighs> hey, Steven. Hey, Bert. Didn't see you, man. Oh, hey, buddy. So, I don't know. I guess I'm working. Oh. Oh, you can't even go to your dad's reception, huh? Yeah. Man. No. I am having a birthday party on June 7th. Bert, you having a birthday party? Yeah. Well, that's a bird of a different flight, man. I'll, I can make that. Oh, really? I do. I'll definitely get off to make your birthday party, Bert. Oh, are you sure that your, your dad isn't going to be all mad that you're not going to his reception? No, because I've been to a lot of receptions for his churches, and I'll go to more, and... Yeah, I think Matt is there. If Matt is there, then he is fine. Bert, I'm, I'm definitely going to your party instead of the reception. I mean, do you do you see me at that reception right now? No. Am I am I at that reception? I don't see you. Am it. I at that reception? He's not there. Man, if no, I'm not there. I'm looking. I don't see you. You're my best bud. Yeah, that's right. I bet I bet Pastor Mark isn't gonna have you at his reception. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. 
Of course my family will be with me at the reception. It would not be complete without them. Right, Matt? What son would ever miss his father's reception? Aw, oh, thank you, son. <laughs> Oh, hey, Pastor Mark. Oh, hey, Bert. How you doing? Pretty good. What are you up to? Uh, just uh, working on Sunday sermon. Oh, uh, you mean just like copying these words to those? Yeah, that's w I'm working on Sunday sermon, Bert. Yeah. Yeah, but if you're like writing word for word what, what this guy said. No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm, I'm working on I'm copying it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I trust you. Yeah. That's cool. So, um, uh... Pastor Mark, can I ask you a question? Sure, sure. You can always ask me. Let's be real. Um, June 7th, I have yeah. my birthday party and you have your reception, as you know. Yes. Um, and I, I just wanted to, you know, be simple and nice and say, I think it's time for you to cancel your reception so that everyone can come to my birthday party. And I want you there too. Well, Bert, I, I can't do that. Uh, that wouldn't... We planned it. The, the, the SPR, the church, they're planning on this. It would be rude for me to cancel what is already scheduled. They're getting things ready for it. People have been invited. I can't do that. I can't just cancel it. Well, that's a lot of reason. But, um, really, I think it's rude to not come to my birthday party. Well, can't you schedule your party differently? I mean, you know, Pastor this is Mark, a church party. I already made deposits. Don't you understand? I've got things all lined up. Well, they have things lined up for the reception, too. We can't do that. We just can't cancel. I'm really disappointed to hear you say that, Pastor Mark. Wow. Looks like I'm going to have to go over your head on this one. You are the real key to Pastor Mark's heart. Oh. And um, you have uh, just so, such a great heart and... And he loves you so much. He talks about you all the time. Oh. He brings pictures of you and, and shows them to the staff. And oh, I, so I just, I know how much he loves his dogs. And, and I was just wondering, dude, if you'd be willing to tell Mark to cancel his reception. All right, Bert, listen. I heard that you went over my head. You went to Kathy. And you went to Daisy and what? tried to talk them into getting me out. Listen, you just need to let it go. I was just no, thinking no, about her. In fact, you just need to go on. Just go away for a while. Just go on. No, no, no. Just go on. Shoot. Go on. Go on. <laughs> Pastor Mark is never, ever going to change his mind. No one's ever going to come to my birthday party. I'm so upset. If only there was something I could do to make him change his mind. You know, the only way I could even think of for us to all possibly be there on your birthday, on June 7th, would be for, for Mark to leave her. For Mark to leave her. Well, I tried to be nice, but that just didn't work. So now, no more Mr. Nice Bird. It's time to get down to business. Hey, Ma. If you can't take the heat, get out of the sanctuary. 100 degrees should be just about right. <laughs> yeah, Mark really hates it when this place is a mess. Prayer requests. Mark, your coffee's ready. Kim, there's a porcupine in my chair. I saw the trustees put that down there. Man, they must really want you to leave, huh? So, as Dr. Fred Craddock once 
quoted Soren Kierkegaard as saying, it was Charles Wesley who wrote, I will be leaving on June 6th. No, wait, I ain't write that. This is Mark Westmoreland. Yes, hello, um, this is the DS. The district superintendent? Yeah, yeah, that thing, you know. Um, listen, I, I know that um, we've, or I've, you know, told you to leave on June 7th. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, seeing as to how I'm your boss, I'm gonna need you to go ahead and make that June 6th. What? Well, this doesn't make any sense, and you don't sound like Carol uh, Clark. I have a cold. Uh, hang up! Hang what? up! What? Perfect. Looking forward to the reception. It should be a great day, June 7th. Uh, we can't wait to see it. Everything, yeah, my family's coming. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, it should be really good. What? No. Hey, Pastor Mark. Go ahead, Bert. Hey, you got some more letters from the kids. Oh, great. I love notes from the kids. They are always so sweet. Dear Pastor Mark, we need you to know that we are tired of you. Oh. And we don't we don't like you anymore. That we think it's time for you to go, preferably before June seventh. Doesn't make any Pastor sense. Pastor Mark, those kids sound really, really serious. You you might want to listen to them. I can't believe this. Why would they Well, I know they feel that way. In fact, all the birds feel that I mean All the what? All the kids feel that way. No, 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 no. You didn't say kids, you said birds. Well, maybe, I maybe just, some birds feel that wait way. Wait a minute. This I, is all starting to make sense. I think you did this, Bert. I think all of this stuff's been you. In fact, as I think about it, everything that's happened, you've been right there. Well, you? well maybe it's you, because maybe you're the one that's always planning going away parties during my birthday party. What? Time for you to go right now. Just get. Just. But, but Come on, what? get out of here, Mark. What you, about the kids don't on? like you. No one's here like you, and everyone wants you to get out of here. Bird. Go out. Bird. 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 Go get out of here. Go on, get. What are you doing? Get out of here, Mark. Get. Bird. Get out of this church right now. Get. Bird. Yeah, that's right. Go on, get out of here. You get off my church porch. Go on, get. Yeah, you just keep going. Go on. Hey, where's Mark? Oh, uh, yeah, he had to go. What do you mean he had to go? Uh, he just up and left, said I could have his office. What? It's not leaving until like June 7th, Bert. What are you doing sitting in here? I know, it's so crazy. I no. guess the DS wait, called or something. Wait! Wait a minute, Bert. He, why is he standing outside over there? This is ridiculous, Bert. I'm gonna go get him. Oh, come on. No, don't go get him. What is the deal between you two? It's been crazy around here. He's been sabotaging things. He hit me with a magazine. He chased me out the door. He's trying to make me leave early. Baby. Okay, don't make it sound worse than well, it really was. Why would you want to make Pastor Mark leave early? You love Pastor Mark. He's been your pastor for 10 years. Urgh, well, he's always having these going away parties during my birthday celebration. You mean to tell me all this has been about your birthday party? <sighs> do you think maybe that, that you really do love Pastor Mark and your feelings might be hurt a little bit that he's leaving, and maybe that's what's causing a lot of your issues. I think you hit the nail on the head there, Grip. I just don't want to see him go. And so I wanted to make him leave because he was making everybody so sad around here. So I didn't want to see that anymore. I thought it would be easier if he would just go early. Pastor Mark, just really, really sorry for being so mean and bad and doing all those things to you. And I was just so angry.
angry and sad that you are leaving. It, it's okay, Bert. You know, it's hard to say goodbye. This, is, this has been an emotional, difficult time for all of us. It's all right. Truth is, we've had some good times together. have given me. Oh yeah? Yes. Shady, tell Carson what my nickname is. Bubblehead. What? What? Bubblehead. They, are you sure they're not calling me the handsome North American preacher? No. No? That good looking guy who, who wears the glasses? No. No? They're calling me? Bubblehead. having to be nice to him. Seven years of boosting his ego. Seven years of writing sermons. I know murderers who have done less time than this. Remember we talked about how important it is for you to take that medication? You know, the pills the special doctor gave you? Woo! The fat pale guy isn't aging well, is he? Fat pale guy? I kind of like that dog. How to be a Catholic. You do know that Belize is a little tiny country, right? <laughs> I am so tired of all these short jokes. What do I have to do to get a little respect around here? Hey! Sure, Bishop, I said, I can go to Fayetteville. I mean, how bad can it be? Of course it's we are the world. But Chris thinks I'm a genius, and I didn't have to do anything on my own. Hmm. Maybe I am a genius. Ice tea. What does Rick know? I'll show him. I'll show him all. This is my night. My night. You do have a reference to the uh, New Beginning campaign, right? The New Beginning challenge? You know, the opportunity we have to retire the church debt if we but raise $400,000. It will be matched by- We know!
marker. It's really me, Steven. Tis the season to spread Christmas cheer. We I saw are him. In. It's my key. It's the key of Christmas. Son, my heart is heavy, my mind is troubled. Come, sit with me. You will go, we call it incognito. I have some costumes. They're the ones that your mother and I wear when we go out to eat. Yes. Can you do this? I can, Father. And I shall. Go Thank in you. peace. <laughs> okay. <laughs> This is never gonna work. I should have asked Matt. Sit? I might be! My heart is sick! From you not coming to my party! 